Good morning. We're in the woods today. Not really. We're in the uh, chicken area. My eye keeps watering. <laughs> We're in the chicken area where they like to hang out over by the compost. And uh, uh, it's just a little bit inside our property. We're not in, way in the woods. But whenever that sun gets in my eyes, it waters like crazy. Um, there's a few chickens booping around out there. They said they were going to help me show you some stuff today. Um, I was excited. I heard from Little Feet Farm Homestead that uh, the Baker Creek seed catalog was out. And I said, you know, I really should get on it and order my seeds and not be such a slacker and wait until next year and do it when you never know what you're going to get, right? So I decided that that's what I was going to do, was order my seeds. So it was three days later after I ordered them, they showed up. I was like, what is in this package, I wonder? Seeds already. I was like, what? This is awesome. So I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, some of it is from Tractor Supply. Uh, I got... Um, I'm trying to have the chickens in the background so you guys can see them. Um, I got some uh, flower seeds and some Roma tomatoes. Uh, oh, I don't know. It was probably a month ago. So I got some zinnias. And I got some marigolds. Sorry if it's backwards, but you guys know what zinnias and marigolds look like. Roma tomatoes. Um... I got Craig's Grande Jalapeno Peppers. Those are gonna be good. So we can do some salsa next year without having to buy the jalapenos, if they come off right. Uh, Boston Pickling Cucumbers. I wanna do some pickles. Um, I made pickles one year, made a whole bunch, and they all were mushy. I did not use, I forget what it's called, like pickle crisp, maybe? Something like that. Oop, somebody's sneaking up behind me. Oh, there she goes. Hey, there's Yeti. Hi, Yed. No, he's, I'm surprised he's not crowing trying to get on camera. Um, I got some Blue Lake bush beans. I also canned a bunch of beans and uh, we're running out. So I went and bought a whole flat or a case or whatever at Walmart. They're 50 cents a can. And so I said, well, I'm not going to have any beans this year. Um, and I'm kind of too late uh, going to the farm and getting them. I went, I stopped in the one that I usually use and they didn't have any. So um, Pepper, king of the month. King of the north. <laughs> I can read. So those are cool because they're kind of uh, all different colors. The green gets a little red on it and the red has a little green on it. I suppose it depends on how long you let her go, right? Um, pepper, bullnose peppers. Some more peppers. We love peppers. And they're so easy to freeze. You can just throw them in the freezer and use them whenever. Um, do riny sweet corn? Never tried it. Corn's corn to me. I love it. Love it all. And I think it's a, uh, early corn. So I don't know if you can see it, but my eye is leaking. Um, something out here is bothering The wind is blowing a little bit, so I think that's why. Uh, let's see. Lettuce. It's really tiny, tiny writing. So some heirloom lettuce. Uh, and these are regular cucumbers. Not the pickle, pickling, pickerling. Um, and then you get a free seed packet, which I'm pretty excited about. We got some kale, never grown kale, and I've never grown lettuce before, so that'll be interesting to see what we get out of that. Um, and uh, hopefully, hopefully I can make something happen. <laughs> you never know. What are you guys doing over there? Somebody's making noises. If you can see them over here. 
They're all lined up. Boop, 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 boop. All lined up there. These guys evidently have decided that this, this tastes really good. Let's see. What's going on, Turk? Let's see if they can show you. Turkey's lounging. Oh, Yeti got mad. Yed! Don't get mad. They've decided those leaves are gonna be yummy to eat, so. Yeti gets, Yeti gets mad at Eddie the turkey sometimes. He gets mad. Or actually, I think that's Brenda. I have to look at their necks to find out. But anyway, um, yeah, so he gets mad. So sometimes he chases after one or the other, depending on which one it is. Everybody's molting here. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Looks like there's been a, a chicken murder here. <laughs> Get everybody over here. They're all chowing down on that. Can you see it? Yeah. Get them, Yeti, get them. The funny thing is, Yeti's not eating all of them. He'll pull one off and drop it on the ground for his girls, and then he'll turn around and, and pull one off for himself. But he's gonna make sure he drops some on the ground for his girls, too. Crazy chickens. Yeti's growling. What are you growling about, Yed? What you doing? The wind's been blowing like crazy here lately, so yesterday we had a storm. Uh, wind storm with some rain. We got, oh yeah, I forgot to look and see how much rain we got. You guys can come see with me. See what it says. Three quarters of an inch. Huh. Well, that's good. We haven't had rain in over a month. Not anything to speak of. We may have gotten sprinkles here or there, but nothing, nothing that would really say that we got rain. But anyway, don't you guys eat my seeds? They will. They'll peck at them. Probably should go get them. No, nope, they're not over there, so we're good. We're safe for the moment. I'm missing a chicken. Uh, she was molting pretty bad a couple days ago when I went in. Like I always do, close them up and count them, make sure everybody's in. Everybody's in and settled. And every night, every night. I have an automatic door that closes, but I still, you know, I still go in and make sure everybody's all in and settled. And I was one short. So, but yeah, I mean, you hear squabbles out here and you're like, is that really something going on? Or is it just Yeti getting after one of the turkeys or one of the chickens? Cause they're always making noise out here. You never know. not sure what took my hen. I keep expecting her to pop up, but I've lost enough chickens to know that she probably won't pop up. Although I did used to have a chicken that ran off um, through the woods and she didn't have a name. She was just a um, like an Isa Brown, like this one over here. She's a Cinnamon Queen or Isa Brown or, uh, oh shoot, I don't know. They've got so many names, I can't think of what they call them. But uh, I think up here, or that was called Isa Brown. But anyway, she didn't have a name. And one day she came up missing. Went in, count the chickens, missing one. I'm like, where the heck? This was, I think, the second year I had chickens. I've had chickens for over four years. So 
I was like, hmm, I wonder where the chicken is. All of a sudden the next day, some guy shows up at the house. He just drives in, says, hey, do you have chickens? Yep, they're all over the lawn. <laughs> you can see them, but yeah, we have chickens. Do you have one that's, you know, like a red color with some white on her? Yeah, I'm actually missing a chicken that looks just like that. He says, uh, well, she's at my house. Well, now, mind you, we live in the woods. We're near a road, you can hear stuff going on, but we live in the woods and our neighbors are not real close. And this house that she went to was through the woods. I don't even know. I can't even tell you how far away it was, but it's the next road over, which when I say that in the country, <laughs> uh, it, it, you know, it means a ways not in the country but in the city it would mean wow how many blocks is that that's a lot of block but anyway she went a long ways through the woods i went over took some sunflower seeds that's how i trained my chickens put them in a little red solo cup and that's how i get them to come like if there's a predator around or one day there was a storm coming and they were talking about possible tornadoes and it was getting really weird here and it was the first year I had chickens and I was freaking out. And Scott and I were out here and we were shaking cups and trying to get them in and it worked. It took a little bit, but that's how I trained my chickens anyway, with a red cup going off on another story. But anyway, <laughs> so I go up there with my seeds and she comes running and he tells us a story. He's sitting there watching TV and all of a sudden he hears something on his deck and he's like, what the heck is on my deck? He looks out the window and there's a chicken looking in the window at him, kind of watching TV with him. <laughs> and uh, he said, so I went out and I said, what the heck are you doing here? <laughs> and uh, she talked to him a little bit, you know, a little burp, 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 burp. And uh, yeah, so she hung out with him for a day until he could figure out where in the heck did this chicken come from? He asked around to the other neighbors. <laughs> Uh, and there's a few that, you know, knew that we had chickens. And uh, so they said, try them. They'll, they they may, might be their chicken. And she was. She saw me, came running like crazy, and I threw her some seeds. She ate the seeds right up. He said he had fed her some bread and some stuff that he had. And I was like, that's great. Thank you so much for, you know, for coming to tell me. Some people wouldn't, you know. Some people would just be like, ah whatever either I'll keep it or I'll kill it and throw it in the crock pot so in the process um, snagged her up put her in the little crate that I brought brought her home and we hadn't met him so we met a new neighbor which was nice very nice guy um, and then maybe two or three weeks later she came missing again and I was like oh this can't be right she's you know she's probably gone well all of a sudden she showed up again on her own but it was a couple days later and i'm like what how in the heck is she going out in the middle of the woods and not getting eaten by we've got fox mink weasels uh koi dogs wolves name it we've got it here that and flying stuff too how could she make, how could she do that, right? So, um, and then maybe like a week later, she came missing again. Um, and I was like, no, this is it. I mean, third time's a charm. She's gonna get it, right? No, she was up at the neighbor's house again. She went up there, he came back and said, she's up there again. And I was like, oh my word. So I don't know where she went the second time, but she was not here. Um, and maybe she went part way and then decided, no, I don't want to go to his house today. I don't know. <laughs> Crazy chicken. But anyway, Scott named her Freebird. Um, and I, it's true. Uh, she did whatever she wanted. She was always on her own going wherever she wanted. She was friendly, friendly bird. Very nice girl. But she liked to do what she wanted to do. And if she wanted to go to the neighbors and watch TV and get some special snacks from the neighbor, she would. 
So that's what she did. Um, so funny. She, she did, she passed away on her own like a year later or something, but, uh, funny little chicken, funny little chicken. Um, and always laid eggs for the longest time. And the Isa Browns are bred to, you know, grow fast and start laying eggs quickly, um, quicker than some. And, um, they don't last long because of that. <laughs> My bard rock. Did you just lay an egg? Just trying to let everybody know, I guess. Did you just lay an egg, girl? She's so funny. So yeah, so uh, that's the story of my crazy free bird chicken. She liked to go to the neighbors and the neighbors is not close. And he was just amazed. Look at them all hanging out here. This is their spot. It's their headboard that I got at the free shack at the dump. Love that place. It's uh, bamboo, made out of bamboo. And uh, it's the ugliest thing. But I thought because it looked a lot like the colors of the, the woods, it wouldn't stand out so much. And the chickens could still roost on it. Brought it home. I think I got it last summer. So it's been here. It's held up. And they love it. I mean, look at them. They love it up there. That's where they hang out. This is their hangout spot all day. Turkeys, Yeti. Eddie is just a sleepy guy. He's right down here on the ground. Let's see if I can, right there. And he's just a sleepy guy today. He must not have slept good last night. Brenda's getting all preened up. She's getting all pretty. So anyway, that's a story of my freedom chicken. Thought you guys might like that story. Got a few of those. <laughs> Maybe not going to the the neighbors but so silly but yeah I don't know where that chicken is I'm sure she's she's not coming back but I heard an owl every time I hear an owl I lose a chicken and I've lost three chickens this this year this this summer um, and I think it's the owl because every time I've lost them I've heard the owl and it's happened in the past too. I've heard the owl and I, I have a chicken go missing and I'm like, I, I, it's gotta be that. And Scott seems to think it, an owl wouldn't pick it up and carry it away, but I think it would. If it's big enough and owls around here, I don't know. I haven't, I've seen one and it was a good sized owl. It was a, you know, regular sized owl for around here. So it wasn't a little barn owl, it was a big owl. Uh, but it was after dark at night and all my chickens get locked up at night, but I have heard it during the day hooting. So if it's hungry enough, I suppose it would come out early in the morning or in the evening and do it, you know, grab them. Pretty sad about that, but it's part of owning chickens and having, having them free range and do whatever they want. And I could build something and keep them all locked up, put a roof over it. And I mean, that's what a lot of people do. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Um, these guys have been free ranged all their life. And I just feel bad. <laughs> it's me. And I just feel bad locking them up um, after they've been free ranged. They already get the taste in their mouth of running wild. And then you lock them up and I don't know, I just feel bad about it. So that's me though. I think about how everybody feels. How do you feel chicken? How do you feel? You good? Are you good today? Are you good? You turkeys good today? <laughs> They're like, you're a fruit loop lady. <laughs> Just keep throwing us the food. Well, anyway, I guess I'll let you guys go. Um, just wanted to show you my seeds and tell you my story and 
I actually hadn't planned on telling you that story, but it popped into my head that the missing chicken and you never know, she could be over to the neighbors. And he did say he thought about throwing her in the crock pot. I'm like, well, I wouldn't blame you. And maybe if you saw the looks of the one that just got taken, that is gone, she looks pretty rough because she's molting. She, she was growing her feathers back. If I think of it, I just got a video of her the other day before she went missing. It might've even been the day. Um, no, because that was at night. So the next day it could have been, it was just a few days ago anyway. Um, I was showing you her pin feathers cause they were, they were growing in really, really good. And uh, she had them on her head and on her wings and on her back and stuff. And I'm like, wow, you're losing them, but you're making them just as fast. And uh, it, it was, it's pretty cool how it happens. But um, anyway, if I think of it, I'll put it while I'm, while I'm talking here and you can see what she looked like. But he may have, she may have scooted over there, followed the old freedom free birds trail. I think I talked the ear off enough. And uh, take care and we'll see you next time. there on the bulkhead what are you doing <laughs>